Hey, what's up guys? Worldwide here. I'm going to attempt to do something a little different and bring you guys a weekly video series just highlighting the events that go on in darts, like any sort of things that are newsworthy. So anyway, hope you guys like it. Let me know and let's get into it. Okay, the biggest news of the week I thought was coming from Channel 4 Press. Now they announced a few days ago on August 12th, Channel 4 has today announced a two-year deal with the British Darts Organization. So that's good news for us, the dart fans. Uh, we'll have a place to watch all the darts. And basically they're going to be broadcasting live from the lakeside. They'll have the afternoon sessions of the men's and women's championships and the semifinals and the women's finals. So that's awesome news for dart fans and for the players themselves to get them on television, get some recognition. So I thought that was really good news. And the next news came out from the PDC. This came out on August 12th as well. Now what they're doing is they're setting up a deal for the live PDC subscribers where you can actually submit questions to, first they're gonna do Phil Taylor and then James Wade. So you're gonna be able to submit questions and you can click the link here and that'll bring you to the form that you fill out. And it's just a chance to ask them whatever the hell you want to ask them. And then the videos will be displayed live on the PDC TV. So that's kind of cool. And that's only for the subscribers of the PDC channel. And the next two news stories comes from the United States. Larry Butler, 15-year-old Larry Butler, has been absolutely kicking everyone's ass over here. And coming off his two back-to-back -back wins in Philadelphia in the CDC, he went and last weekend he played against John Part in the finals. And he won 6-3 with an 86.2 average. So that was his third CDC event win in a row which is pretty amazing. I mean, he's just been in form for years on end. Absolutely amazing. And another story coming from the United States is, going back about 10 days ago at the USA Classic in Connecticut, there was a men's cricket finals between Larry Butler and Joe Chaney. Now, a lot of you guys know I'm not like a huge cricket fan, but man, check this out. This was the final. It was just a best of three. So Larry won the first leg, Joe won the second leg, so it goes into the third leg. And holy shit, look at this. Joe opens up with back-to-back -back nine marks, two triple 20s, triple 18 to start off, backs it up with triple 19, trip 17, trip 15, and then goes on to reel off an 11 darter for 7.1 marks per turn. That's just amazing. Keep in mind, this is steel tip cricket. You do kind of see it often in soft tip, but man, 7.1, that's a friggin' smoking game. So hats off to uh, hats off to Joe Chaney. That's, that's just an incredible win, an incredible leg of darts right there. And the next two clips, I just kind of want to let you guys know where you can keep up with all the darting action from the world of professional darts. And first of all, this is Darts Planet over on YouTube. And personally, it's my favorite channel just because of the quality of the videos and the time that he uploads after the matches are over. I mean, you can't beat this, really. The quality of his videos are second to none. And I don't know what he uses for a frame rate, but it's not really jumpy at all, and the quality is excellent. So, yeah, make sure you guys check out Darts Planet. I mean, he already has over 6,000 subscribers, and that's going up by, he's getting like 50 new subscribers every day. So the guy's doing really well, and it's a lot of hard work uploading full matches. I stopped doing that myself personally just because it's too much work, and I don't want to risk copyright strikes. But I don't know, maybe he worked out something, he has permission, I don't know, but his videos are awesome. And the next bit is there's a lot of discussion over on Reddit, and this is Reddit r slash darts, and there's been a ton of action over here lately, just a lot of articles, uh, a lot of people posting pictures. And what I like about Reddit is it just allows you a little bit of freedom to talk about whatever the hell you want to talk about. You know, there's not a ton of restrictions over there. The rules are really laid back. So it just lets you uh, lets you open up a little more about certain subjects if you want. But anyway, yeah, check out Reddit Darts. It's been super busy lately. Definitely worth a look. Well, anyway, for my last story this week, we're going to hit a bit of rumor. So everybody likes a bit of rumor, right? And the rumor is this week that Winma is working on a brand new board that is going to be released, who knows, maybe soon, maybe not, I don't know. But according to this former PDC professional, he said, yes, I have info that it is being improved dramatically. And it, being the Winma Blade 4, could be zero deflection soon due to a new material. So that's only a best guess of what that could possibly be, but kind of exciting. I mean, I really trust the word of this guy. Like I said, he's a former PDC professional. He owns a dart store, so that's going to be exciting news. And, you know, any type of new dartboard that comes out, you know, the, the unicorn was exciting. 
Um, I was a little let down by the removable numbers, but anytime there's a new WinMob board coming out, man, that's awesome news. So really looking forward to that. Well, anyway, guys, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video. Later.